Yep, that's right, YouTube. Wendell Lee Well Services here again. Um, just actually sitting on my couch and uh, doing my thing and you know, getting the weekend started and just thinking about what all we did this week. You know, it's been raining, been getting wet, and uh, not been able to do a whole lot because it's rain and, you know, been slowing everybody down. And uh, for some reason, just got to thinking about one of the service calls we got on uh, and uh, what we repaired. And I was like, man, you know, we, we deal with this a lot. So uh, that's this is the uh, thought process for this next video. And it's uh, where to locate your shutoff valve for your uh, well pump system in general. And uh, man, I can't tell you how many times I see this. So I'm uh, doing a quick video here, a quick, um, I guess a little shoot of uh, my setup here. Um, so you can see here, obviously the water line's coming in. Pressure switch here, feeding off to the tank, going to a filter and wherever. But one of our uh, repair calls uh, this week um, that I see a lot is uh, somebody had their shutoff valve located down here. Okay, you know, and and look, I get it. You know, you want you want shutoff valves. You want you you want to be able to cut your water off. You want lines going every look. That's fine. But there cannot be any kind of shutoff valve between this switch and the well pump. Um, I know this is obvious for a lot of you out there that tune into my videos, um, but you know, this valve being located here, when you shut that off and this pressure switch is running your pump, that has no way that there's no water flow going to this uh, quarter inch nipple on this pressure switch. There's no way to cut this pump off by this pressure switch. So this will result in a deadhead condition. Likewise, if this filter were not located here, and this filter were located down here between the switch and the well, and this filter were the clog up, that is the same as essentially having a ball valve and taking this handle and turning it shut. Okay, there is no way for this pressure switch to sense flow and for it to be able to cut your pump off. That will result in a deadhead condition as well. Um, Sorry for all y'all out there that uh, watch this a lot. Um, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm trying to bark up a bark up a tree here that I bark up a lot because I don't. But it, you know, in general, the cutoff valve for your well pump or any well pump system has to be after a pressure switch. Now, my preferred cutoff valve or shutoff valve for a well pump system is to go turn the breaker off. Um, if I have a leak somewhere, anywhere, whether it's in the house or out in the yard, if something crazy happens, you know, that's the, that's the first place I'm going. I'm going to the breaker to shut the power off. And then I'm going to go open an outside spigot somewhere to bleed the pressure somewhere. So just keep this in mind. Um, number one location to locate a shutoff valve on a well pump has to be downstream of the pressure switch. There cannot be any valve or any filter located between the pressure switch and the well. Everything has to be downstream of the pressure switch, so it has a way to cut it off. So just a quick video there. It kind of uh, got some of my boredom out of here, too. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.